I would buy it again, unfortunately I can, but what can you do? Hello cat people, how are you today? I am Cat Lady Antigone and today we are talking about products that I have finished. I guess you have already seen the title, so what I'm gonna do today, it's quite obvious, right? Basically, I'm gonna take all the products that I have finished within 2022, I'm gonna present them to you and I'm gonna tell you my opinion. Keep in mind, if I have finished something, this doesn't mean that I necessarily like it. I'm a person that I do not like to make waste, I do not like to throw products that can actually be used somehow. So yeah, with this in mind, if you're ready, let's start! The idea for today's video is to start with some non-makeup products and then continue with some skincare and then end up with makeup. So I'm gonna start by presenting you a hair product. And this is the tiny size because I actually threw away the plastic bottle that I had it. So unfortunately, this is all I have, but don't worry, I'm gonna explain you in details what is this and why I liked it. So here we have the shampoo from the body shop. This is a new one that they had, at least when I got it. This is with ginger for dry, flaky scalp, anti-dandruff with vegan and silk protein. So basically my scalp is very, very oily, but I used this shampoo only at this part of my hair. And since I bleached my hair and I need kind of good hydration, but not up here, but down here, this worked perfectly. So let me tell you the story. I went to body shop. I shopped some irrelevant stuff like uh, face cleaner or stuff like that. And they gave me this sample in order to try it. And and if I like it to buy the full size. So I liked it, I bought the full size, I fit the full size as well, but unfortunately I threw it away, so now that's what I have. Basically I'm keeping this because I'm planning to go again and rebuy it, and since I'm very good at forgetting stuff, I think that this tiny bottle will do the work for me. So yeah, I don't know if for this part is actually good, but for the use that I have done of it, it's Perfect. Now let's go to some skin products. First of all, I'm gonna show you this one right here. This one is from The Ordinary, niacinamide 10% and zinc 1%. This is the niacinamide that I'm using. It's very, very good. I have tried niacinamide from Revolution as well. Um, and although that it had 10% niacinamide and 1% zinc, it wasn't the same. Like, I like very, very much this specific one. Uh, the Ordinary has done a great job with this product. I think it's the fourth that I'm buying and I'm finishing and right now I'm kind of in the half of the bottle at the fifth one. So yeah, I definitely buy it again and again. I have seen a big difference to my face. First of all, less blemishes, more smooth skin. My cream is applying better. In general, it's a very good product and I think it's for most skins, but don't take my advice when it comes to skincare because I'm not expert. My friend Aphrodite recommended this to me. Hello Aphrodite, thank you so much for this one. And actually I'm very happy, but this is what I know about this product. Like I only can understand if this works for my skin or if it doesn't work. Unfortunately, I cannot advise you on something. And the last skincare product for today is this cream right here. So here we have a day cream from e.l.f. And in general, I'm very, very happy with e.l.f. as a brand. So they have have like from good to perfect products. I don't remember have bought something that I said, oh, I didn't like it. It doesn't work on me. Nope. And specifically when it comes to this cream, it's perfect. Like my skin is super oily, mega oily. And whatever I apply, after a while, I have very, very unpleasant oily texture and, you know, very unpleasantly shiny skin. And all this bad stuff and I know that many of you might say wow this is a good thing actually no to me it's not a good thing because for years I'm struggling so much with this 
problem, I would say. It's not really a problem, but to me, it is a problem. So this specific day cream really balances my skin and it makes it feel less oily, which I really appreciate because I really need this. It helps me with makeup. I think my makeup lasts longer with this cream right here. So yeah, for oily skin types, yeah, I would recommend it. I have finished another container like that and I have bought the big one now that was not really sample size but it was a mini size in order to try it I tried it I'm happy so I bought the big size I don't know when I will finish this but currently I'm using it and I see results now let's talk about some actual makeup products first product which I unfortunately threw it away because I forgot that I was planning to do this video unfortunately but I'm sure that my editor will do his magic so we will have it here is from NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me foundation and actually it's a great foundation unfortunately NYX Professional Makeup has discontinued this foundation but I have finished it I was super happy with it so I would like to mention it when it comes to this we have a very lightweight product that actually makes your skin feels like skin and not like paper basically I would say it's a tinted moisturizer unfortunately I have bought only one when it was available so nowadays I cannot find anything it's sold out from everywhere which is kind of reasonable since it's discontinued but if you are able to find it in your own country buy it and you will not regret it it's a great product and I don't know why NYX discontinued this nowadays they have the bear with me concealer and I feel that with bear with me foundation they would have done the perfect match I don't understand why NYX is discontinued good products all the time I don't know I was so happy with that I would buy it again unfortunately I can but what can you do? Life is life. <laughs> Next I'm gonna talk about a brow gel and this time I have it and it's this one right here. So this is Lash and Brow Mascara from MUA Makeup Academy. I'm not sure that you can see all these things on this bottle since it's pretty much very very used so I don't have anything on here. My impression was that this was an okay product like acceptable but since i have tried the mascara from elf i'm in love with elf and to me this rang down so i feel that this is a average product like not so good anymore it wasn't bad like mega bad and i paid like three euros for that so for three euros it's decent but definitely it's not my favorite and talking about glues let's go to the actual next product and here we have a glitter glue in the name glitter me up from the company paint glow which is a uk brand and actually i'm very very happy with this glue i used to have from nyx professional makeup the glitter goals or something like that i don't remember the name of their glitter glue but basically i have paid 12 euros for this glue and it was okay so so to okay level i have paid around four euros for this glue i think it contains the same amount of product and it was better way better i'm so happy with this i don't know how easy it is for me to repurchase this from where i am right now if you don't know i'm living in sweden and if you don't know that that means that you're new to this channel so hello my name is antigoni and i love doing makeup from looks like this one which is a little bit more edgy to body paints and all the stuff that you can imagine so if you don't want to miss my videos don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a big thumbs up up to encourage me to continue with what I'm doing. Anyway, back to the relevancy now. This was a great product. I don't know how easy it will be for me to repurchase it, but if I can, I will definitely do it. Next, I'm gonna talk to you about my favorite mascara. So here we have from NYX Professional Makeup On The Rise Volume Lift Scara. Lift Scara, creative name. I liked it. Like, basically, I would like you to see 
how the brush looks like it's an amazing mascara it's great like i have tried a lot of mascaras and from all of them these and the mascara from zhao makeup these two are my holy grails but let's talk a little bit about this one it gives a great volume to the lashes and also in my opinion it gives a little bit of length as well so i would definitely recommend you to buy this mascara i hope that nyx do not discontinue this product like please nyx don't do this it's a very very nice product but if i understand that nyx is about to discontinue it i will make sure that i will go to the store and buy at least 10 of them this is how good this mascara is unfortunately not all mascaras are equally good so now i'm gonna talk to you about a bad mascara this is from soda makeup soda makeup is a russian brand and this one is called unicorn mascara hashtag rainbow rave something like that anyway so i'm gonna show you i have bought this mascara at black friday sale aka at november then i opened this container around january it was supposed to be a blue mascara very cool idea like i would like to have a blue mascara in my collection but unfortunately after two months it is completely dry like can you see I have nothing here. I have no product on my hand. It's completely dry. I don't want to try any methods to recover it because I feel that in the end it's not gonna work. I'm super disappointed from this mascara. In general, I didn't like the brand so much. Whatever I tried, I didn't like it. I'm not gonna buy it again. Save your money and don't buy this stuff. Oh, I realized that I forgot to tell you about this makeup. So if you're interested, I have already filmed a makeup tutorial. I don't know if this is already uploaded, but if it is, I'm gonna leave a link down here. If it's not, I'm gonna leave a link down here when I'm gonna upload it. But for sure, I have uploaded pictures at my Instagram account. So if you wanna have a closer look, if you wanna zoom up a little bit, you can always visit me at my Instagram, which is lady antigone down here go there and see all the makeups that i have created i'm waiting next product for today is actually a setting spray and now we have the matte fixer from w7 a long lasting matte makeup fixer so to be honest i didn't like it at all first of all i don't like w7 as a brand i feel that very few things from their stuff are actually good i don't like their ethics i received this in a pr and uh, if it wasn't for the pr i wouldn't have buy it to be honest like it wasn't a good one uh, like it seems good when you apply it but after a while like after an hour your skin at least my skin became very oily and this is something that i do not really enjoy when i have my makeup on i want to have my face as matte as possible for as long as possible and since this is promising that it will keep the face matte I find that it doesn't do its work so to me it's a bit unfortunate but I do not recommend this product to you and now it's time for the Greek word of the day so for today we are talking about empty stuff we are talking about how I emptied my own makeup so the verb that I'm gonna tell you is the verb for empty so in Greek we say adiazo say with me a dia zo adiazo as always i'm gonna ask you to try to write a comment down below using the verb adiazo or actually tell me what products have you adiazete during this year last but not least for today we have a liquid eyeliner from colourpop in the name graceland so to me it's a quite okay eyeliner it's not that pure white that you can find from nyx professional makeup let's say but it has its own value so for example i used it a lot when i was doing my body paints in order to give the lights when i was doing the clothes so i didn't want to have all the times that pure white i wanted some transparency and this is great for this purpose i would not necessarily recommend it to you if you're doing just normal 
normal makeup and you want to have just a white eyeliner because if you're working with really dark colors you might have issues since this is kind of transparent it's not very opaque so yeah but it's quite cheap so if you would like to be a little bit more creative it's definitely a good choice but just keep in mind that it's not very opaque that's it and that was our video for today i hope that you enjoyed all the products that i show you you're very very welcome to write down in the comments which product have you finished during 2022 as always thank you so so much for being here with me today bye bye